We're going to hear from all of our coaches. So first to speak is from Robert Morris. Please welcome to the podium head coach Bernard Clark, Jr. Well, first of all, I want to thank uh, the Big South for having this. Second thing I want to say is I'm from Tampa, Florida. So I know you guys think this is the South. I'm much further South, so I know all about sweet tea. So <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Uh, the first thing I want to do is thank the two young men that came with me. Uh, Elijah Jackson has been with us since 2018, since I got there. He's been our starting running back, done an outstanding job. He's working on his master's degree in organized leadership, not his undergrad degree. And also Rico, he joined us uh, in 2020. He's done an outstanding job for us becoming leaders. They've done a great job of representing what we believe in. What we believe in at Robert Morris University is we're trying to create an environment on and off the football field to continue what families have done and help these guys become better men, better husbands, and better fathers. The three most important things they're ever going to be in their life. And these two guys are exemplifying that, and they're doing a great job at it. So thank you very much. Thank you, Coach. We'll now hear from the head coach of new Big South member, Bryant University, Chris Merritt. Thank you very much. Uh, first, I uh, want to thank uh, Kyle and, and uh, his, his staff there for welcoming us into the Big South. You, you brought up the word transformation, and that's exactly what's taking place at Bryant University with our vision plan 2030 and the direction the university is going. And, and uh, President Gattel, uh, we, we, I can't thank President Gattel enough, Bill Smith, our athletic director, Dave Byrne, our board of trustees uh, president, and, and just for the direction and the alignment uh, of the vision of, of Bryant University Athletics and this football program. You have to remember the football program is uh, only 24 years old, um, and it's only been Division One for 12 years now. So uh, this is a great opportunity for us to get bigger, uh, to grow in a conference. Uh, you've been very welcoming, and I'm sure these uh, five coaches up here are going to find their own way to welcome us uh, some uh, Saturdays this fall. We're excited. Uh, to look forward to it um, with Jihad and, and Joe uh, representing two of the best we got in our program, uh, which is why they're with us here today. And, and uh, yeah, I'm happy with the way that the football program is going right now, how much has changed since uh, we've had the opportunity to get there in 2019 and, and the culture of our program and, and for what these young men uh, bring to the table. And and uh, couldn't have echoed those sentiments better that uh, Bernard said about uh, what the real uh, goal of this whole thing is in life, and, and that's to make uh, good citizens and husbands and fathers and dads and all that. So thank you for having us. Thank you, Coach. Our next coach at the podium is Gardner Webb's Trey Lamb. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you to the entire Big South. You know, this is my second year here. Uh, last year was my first year uh, doing this deal and, and – uh, I want to give credit, you know, first of all, to our administration, our president. Um, our, we, our president's a young, energetic, uh, wants to be really good at football, and, and it's impressive to work for a guy like that and see him put the things in place. You can see Gardner-Webb's changing. Our look's changing. Uh, we're trying to create a new culture from the top down, um, and it's, it's so energetic and fun to go to work every day and work with our young men. Ty and Nari represent our team very well. Uh, we've got about, you know, I've been there. Last year was really our first year. We went six and nine uh, through the spring and the fall. I had to wait about 11 months to coach my, maybe 14 months to coach my first football game as a head coach. So that was a long wait during COVID. Um, we feel like we got a lot coming back. We've got a fresh roster of, of a lot of guys that our staff has brought in. It's, it's always different when you bring in the guys. You sit in the living room with the mom and dad, and there's a little bit different trust level there. Um, we're excited about what we have coming back. We return a lot of guys. Um, we were very close last year. We lost a lot of close games. Five, I mean, I'll give you some coach speak here, but we lost five one possession ball games. We had a chance. And um, I think any drunk fan can sit there and sit, yell finish and figure out how to, how to do that. But um, our, our, our messages have been clear this year. We've, we've been diagnosing how, how we can get better on a day to day basis, how we can change our hearts, our minds, and be a little uh, better at the end of football games, end of halves, and, and, and get some of those wins rather than losses. But Extremely proud of the way we're, we're competing. Um, they say you lose close, and then you win close, and then you win big, and hopefully we're on the right track to do that, and it, it starts with our kids. So student athletes, I was in your shoes not long ago. Um, congratulations to you for being here. You've represented your university in the right way, and uh, we appreciate you, Kyle, for having us.
Thank you, Coach. Please welcome our next speaker, Charleston Southern's Autry Denson. Good, uh, good afternoon. Uh, this, is, uh, this is probably the only time that uh, when a uh, Southern Baptist uh, pastor tells you he's going to be short, that I'm actually going to be short. I'm actually, uh, by profession, I am a youth pastor that's masquerading as a uh, head coach right now. And so uh, I keep it real simple. It's about honoring God. Uh, that's what we do. We compete to the glory of God by what we do, uh, giving a God honor effort with the God honor attitude. Uh, I just, God luck to everybody in this room. Uh, love these coaches, love everything Kyle and our leadership does. Uh, man, it is really exciting to, uh, as, as Trey just talked about, really close competitive games. Hey, it brings the best out of all of us because what we're really trying to do is teach our young men how to compete so they can be uh, equipped fathers, husbands, and community leaders as they move forward. So really uh, appreciative to Kyle and everyone for not losing that vision in a time where you're saying transformation. Uh, the Big South has really done a good job of making sure that we're developing student athletes as men as well as uh, football players. So uh, God luck on the season. Uh, go Bucks. Thank you, Coach. Next to speak is Campbell head coach Mike Minter. First of all, let me say thank you, Kyle. Again, great, great job. You and your staff of uh, doing a great job of putting this together. Um, secondly, I want to thank my student athletes. You know, we talk about leadership. We talk about being great men. And uh, these two guys, that's what they represent. I also want to um, welcome my new um, setting AD. Um, and so I want to welcome um, Ms. Hannah to um, to this and her first meeting um, with the Big South, and so that's really good. It's all about competition, and um, it's all about being able to have a dream and have a purpose, and that's what every young man in this room has, the, the dream and the purpose to one day do something great, and it all starts here. And um, so I'm thankful again for another opportunity. I remember my first year in the Big South, I went first which meant what? Yeah, we was picked last. And so now I go second to last. And so I'm thankful for the growth of Campbell football and where we at. And so we look forward to competing against you young men, and I look forward to competing against these coaches. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. And uh, finally, the head coach of this year's preseason favorite, North Carolina A&T, it's head coach Sam Washington. Hey, listen, but I got more than that. <laughs> listen, uh, they say know your strengths and know your weakness. And this is not one of my strengths. However, um, it's a lot of people I really would like to say thanks to and, and just show some kind of gratification. Uh, in the meetings this morning, um, the two of you, Kyle and Beth, uh, the direction that y'all are going to take this uh, conference is remarkable. Stay on the path, stay on the course. Uh, and and I, you guys are in great hands. I'm gonna just say that. So thank you, um, Stephen. Um, with this um, banquet, uh, the convention itself from A to Z have been top notch. Has been 100. Um, thank you so very much. I've been to many of these. I started coaching in 1987. A lot of people have wasn't even born then. So uh, I've seen it done many times over and over. And this is first uh, first class. Uh, um, A1. Um, both marks, thanks for what you do. Uh, it's, it's just, you can tell when a plan uh, comes together. And you can tell when people, I tell our guys all the time, hope is not a plan. You can't hope something uh, to happen. You have to come up with a plan and execute it and make it happen. And uh, Big South, you have done that. So to, let's give them a hand. Okay, um, congratulations to all the student athletes that's here. What it's an indication of that hard work does pay off. You guys have put in the time, the effort, and everything's necessary for you to be seated, uh, seated where you're sitting right now. And for that, uh, we thank you. And look forward to competing against you uh, here in the near future. Uh, not really, not you and that one. 
<laughs> but um, uh, it's been a joy just watching you guys develop and, and see where you come from. You know, from the beginning of your uh, your play to where you are now is quite remarkable. Um, but just again, uh, proof of hard work. Um, let me see who else I need to thank. Uh, the coaches up here. The coaches up here. You know, I say it often. Um, you judge a man' character, a, a, a player's character, by what he does when he's tired. You get that joker tired, you'll see what he's made of. And um, as men, you want to judge a man's character, put him under a little adversity, and you'll find out what you have or what you're working with. And these two gentlemen right here, I don't know why they're here. Uh, we experienced some of that this year. And the way they responded, I tip my hat. I've been over to both of you uh, tenfold because it was the way that you handled the situation would identify who you are. And y'all know what I'm talking about, both separate incidents. The next two gentlemen here, it's never been a time that I have approached them and they not smile, never. And that's speaking volumes. Now we're competitive, I'm telling you, we're gonna compete. But we know where to draw the line. And we know how to draw the line. And, and for, for the two of you doing that, thank you, Coach. Thank you. Coach? <laughs> I, and listen, I sat where you were sitting last year. I sat there. First time not knowing what to expect. But I can assure you, you're amongst some quality young, I'm going to say young men, some quality men. Um, so uh, very competitive. Now, they're going to go after you, but they're going to love you too. So uh, for that, uh, we say you have a lot to be look, you know, to look forward to. Okay. Um, to all uh, this upcoming season, uh, thanks for recognizing us as possibly the no, not possibly. Thanks for recognizing us as uh, this year's favorite. Uh, we have worked our butts off. Last year we didn't do, we didn't reach the, our potential. We didn't do nearly as well as we should have, or could have. And um, the mindset this year have been just wonderful. I mean, um, since summer one, we've had a large number of uh, students already on campus. Summer two, we had 98% uh, of having everybody there. And they are working uh, extremely hard and preparing themselves both mentally and physically. And for that, I am very grateful. I was also, um, I got a few new coaches that I'm very pleased with. And, and seeing the direction and what they bring to the table has been, you know, sort of remarkable. Um, the defensive line coach, Keith Willis, happened to be my roommate in Pittsburgh. We played, both played with the Steelers um, back in way long time ago. And, uh, but he has been a uh, blessing uh, to the program. Uh, Jason uh, Macrinos, I got to give him a shout out. Secondary coach. Last year, second in the secondary, we were guard off him. They're putting it out there. We were guard off him. And I, I guarantee you see a transformation right away with the quality of play, the level of play, and the understanding of what, um, what we can and what we cannot do and how well we do it. Also, uh, lost a dear friend, running back coach, Sean Gibbs, to the head job at Fort Valley. Very proud of him. And um, we replaced him with uh, Lamont Sewell. Uh, who I am so happy to be um, to be a part of my life. He's a man filled with the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and he has the kids' best interests at heart. So I'm very proud to, to announce that he's uh, on the staff as well. So that's just a little bit about who we are and uh, what our expectations are this year. Um, we thank you again and uh, look forward to competing. Thank you.